Welcome to Lockdown News, June 27, 2020. And now, over to our presenter, Jane Upton. Thank you, Matthew. The UK implements stimulus plan. Boris Johnson has initiated the Bubble Programme, in which adults living alone can join a family without social distancing. This has created a boom in the economy, as flowers are delivered with cards requesting to join a bubble. A man was seen on his knees asking a family to join their bubble. Bubbles can be seen all over the common picnicking. Bubble girls in dark alleys call out to men. Hey boy, did you want to have fun in my bubble? Yes, London is coming back to life. The two metre distancing requirement is being changed to one metre. This will employ hundreds if not thousands of people to move the queuing marks in shops and on the pavements. Last weekend was the first weekend since lockdown that couples which didn't live together can visit each other in their houses a BBC presenter commented. This includes overnight, she said with a twinkle in her eye. Then standing up from her desk, she said, Oh, would you look at the time? It is no coincidence that the book, The Two Metre Karma Sutra by Rande T. Day, has debuted on the New York Times bestseller list. Now over to Matthew for what's happening outside right now. Jane, it's hot as blazes outside. Fire and brimstone coming down from the sky. Good. Stay inside. Self-isolate. Be safe. Back to you, Jane. Thank you, Matthew, for that update. Emergency meeting of the Congressional Monuments and Statues Committee. The committee has held an emergency meeting to address a clerical error made in 1920. On the 7th of January 1920 meeting, it was decided to commission statues of upright and outstanding Americans. A list of potential people was created and agreed. All was going to plan until the list was mistakenly replaced by the current list of people residing in the Washington DC jail. Consequently, the United States was populated with statues of murderers, thieves, slave owners and the like. This error came to notice when the comment mentioned in last week's episode flew over Washington. The committee was now sitting in a hot, windowless room trying to come up with a remedy. We could just take them down and replace them with famous Americans who have led a blameless life. People like Mother Teresa, Gandhi and Jesus. They are not Americans, someone noted. Not to worry, the chairman said. We can make them honorary Americans. Most of the public think they are Americans anyway. About the slave traders. If we take their statues down, what are we going to do about the Capitol building? I believe Slave Telt built it. A long Pause ensued, broken by the chairman. Oh, would you look at the time? We are adjourned for tea. When and if the committee comes back from tea, you will hear it first on Lockdown News. Kids' Corner Today, kids, I am going to teach you a fun game. It's called ventriloquism. Ventriloquism is just a very big word for making something else talk. 
It's not hard. First you need to find a doll and a mask. The one which you wear when you go outside will work fine. Now you need to think of a name for your doll and what your doll sounds like. You do not want your doll to sound like yourself or nobody will be able to tell the difference. To make the doll talk, put on the mask and sit in a chair with the doll on one knee. Ask your doll what its name is. Then, without moving your jaw too much, say the doll's name. See? There you go. Not too hard. A little practice and the doll will chat all the time. The fun part is, the doll can answer questions mummy asks, such as, who has been eating the cookies? Or, who broke the plate? The doll just has to say, I did. I think you will find that the doll will get you out of trouble most of the time. Just keep practising. Well, that is all the news for this week. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow. This has been the Lockdown News of June 27, written by Matthew Upson and spoken by Jane Upson.